The painting by Flink is a fascinating painting on so many levels. The time that we're talking about is really the era of Rembrandt. You know, that's one of the most familiar names of any artist to any people of any culture. They generally know who Rembrandt is. His style dominated for several decades, you know, 20, 30 years. Everybody was trying to emulate him. And so this artist, Flink, uh, who's about 11 years younger than Rembrandt, was born in Clave, which uh, is now part of Germany, but back then was part of the Dutch you know, province. He initially trained under uh, Lambert Jakobsun, who was an artist of decent skill. And so he uh, learned the rudiments of painting under him. He eventually moved on to Amsterdam to become a student of Rembrandt. So he did very well under Rembrandt and painted like him for a good 15 years. In fact, it didn't take very long for his paintings to be mistaken for Rembrandt's paintings. It was that close to his style. But in the 1640s, Flink started to change his style in a more classical manner rather than the dark sort of manner that Rembrandt had. And it was perfect timing because in 1648, the Dutch became officially independent. And so immediately, the leaders of Amsterdam wanted to build a town hall, and they had a, a leaning towards more of a classicizing type of look that they wanted for this town hall. So there was a big competition, and an architect named Jacob von Kampen won the design. It was a very impressive building. And to fill this building with paintings, they had to commission artists. And so all of the top artists of Amsterdam wanted this major commission. And so Hovart Flink uh, submitted his idea. Uh, Rembrandt submitted his. Ferdinand Boll. All of the top artists of Amsterdam wanted this coveted job. And Hovart Flink ended up winning this competition with this painting of Solomon asks for wisdom that we're talking about here that's in the Bob Jones collection. What's even more amazing is that this is the very piece that he submitted to gain this commission. So it's a pretty momentous picture of this change of taste that was going on in the city and really the skill and the, you know, the ascension of Flink in the ranks of painters of his city. This is 1652. And a couple years later, he finished the final piece, which was based on this Modelo that the Museum and Gallery has. And the final piece is about 20 feet high. It's a mammoth painting. And it's pretty faithful to the sketch that he did, but there's just some slight changes. And it's depicting Solomon bowing before this personification uh, in front of him, this woman with a scepter and a book who's actually uh, also kind of representing Amsterdam, but he's humbly asking for wisdom. And so you see his crown on a pillow there in front of him. So his crown is laid aside. He's before God, he's asking for wisdom and he's humbling himself. In the context of this country, a Protestant country, and that was at the heart of why they were breaking away from Spain. And so uh, the, the Old Testament was very near and dear to the Dutch people. And this subject was absolutely appropriate for this town hall. In fact, the room that this painting went into was the Burgomaster's chamber. And the Burgomasters were a series of mayors that led the city. So in this central room that all of these leaders would meet at, they wanted Solomon humbling himself and asking for wisdom from God to lead him. And that was the same kind of supplication that they wanted as burgomasters to lead that great city. Mm -hmm. 